What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are in Spa Francochon. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. Anyways, very famous racetrack, which is literally right outside the hotel right there. It's my first time here ever. And I'm gonna be lucky enough to drive the track, so I thought I'd bring you along for as much of the experience as possible. My friend Emric is here. How how's your English, Emric? Nice to meet you. <laughs> Start the day. Sport mode Corsa! You may be wondering why we're in a Lamborghini. We've got a lone Lamborghini. And we're gonna do a full video on this soon. For now, we're focusing on the track day. Merci beaucoup! Bonne journée! Welcome to Spa. Now, the question is... Where do we go? Okay, guys, I don't even really know where to begin with... Oh, there's a car which is about to come out right now. Look, we're on the pit lane now, in Spa. First time here, there's, so there's something so kind of cool about being here. I've heard so much about this track. Look at this, out goes a car, 458. So that is what I drove last time out. I drove a 458 on the French Grand Prix track, Paul Ricard. Today, we are switching from the 458, which was very similar to this one that I drove, to the 488 Evo. So it's got the Evo kit, it is an absolute beast. It's basically kind of as, yeah, as cool as it gets. And this is all through D2P, who we already, oh, there's a car which is coming around. Can you hear that? Oh, how sick does that sound? We're gonna be doing that in a little bit, but D2P have invited me back out here. It's so, so kind of them, and I'm so impressed. Basically, what they do is they offer a service where they can either take care of your car, so the two cars on the end there are client cars, they'll completely take care of that, supply a team, supply hospitality, do all the organizing, or even like your flights or whatever it is for you to come out and enjoy your car on various track days. They'll organize track days like today, so usually in Spa you'll have 60 to 70 cars on track at the same time during an open track day, whereas today we're gonna have nine or 10 cars. So on a seven kilometer circuit, it means you're basically gonna be alone on track. So that's super cool. And they'll also offer a rental service. So the car that I'll be driving is available for day or weekend rent. Um, and they will bring the car here, take care of everything, take care of the hospitality, and you can enjoy a kind of once in a lifetime track day in a Ferrari proper serious thoroughbred Ferrari race car. So they invited me back out here last time. Uh, I came on as a client with them and then they've invited me back out today and I'm just over the moon. It's just so kind of them and yeah, I just really want to give them the biggest thank you ever because the service that they've, they're have they giving to us. I just did a tour of all the garages. They've redone the whole restaurant so that we're nice and comfortable. They've been here since 3 a.m. setting everything up. There's a motorhome. It's beyond what I could have ever dreamt of. And for me as a motorsport fan, a car guy, any opportunity in any race car on any track is exceptional but with these guys in this car on this track is beyond exceptional so I feel unbelievably fortunate and I could blab on for hours but it's probably about time we get the cars warmed up and we get started Look at this, even just to get changed, I have a little changing room with an area to rest between sessions with a view on La Source, the first corner. Doesn't get much better than this. All right, legends, I'm changed. There we go, already. And then now they're just doing the last few little adjustments on the car. And then we're gonna be going out. You can see, we already hear all the other cars going round. So it's pretty impressive to hear, but yeah. Keeping the tires nice and warm, of course and then we'll be going out soon. So Gino's gonna show me, do a few laps first with me in the car to show me around the track and to teach me all of the buttons on the car, etc., etc.
Alright, so we're in the car now and you can probably tell there are a lot of buttons. So I've got Gina right here, my instructor, race, race driver of course, who is going to walk us through what all of these buttons do on the steering wheel. So Gino, take it away. So basically you can, you can see uh, as well compared to the 458 challenge that yep. you drove last time, that you have many more buttons. And a different steering wheel, yeah, a race so steering wheel. This yeah. is the Evo steering wheel. On the non-Evo 488 Challenge, okay. you also have a round steering wheel. Right. So this one is really inspired by the by the, the GTE version, which is the 488 that is running Le Mans. So yep. basically you have a Le Mans steering wheel. So yeah, very cool. Nice. This is pretty sick. So the two biggest buttons on the, on the um, steering wheel are the control of the traction control. Yep. The second one is how is it, is it going to work, okay, so yep. uh, hard or, or low. Yep. If it and kicks in kind of brutally or if it's exactly. more discreet yeah and the other one is the moment uh, i mean okay. uh, does it appear like quite late uh, after okay. a lot of wheel spin or straight away when the car feels that there is <laughs> yeah. some wheel spin up Got the you. system yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, up here so when and how okay and there's four different modes right exactly exactly so you can switch straight away when you are driving off you never use it because you can clearly see that the car is not uh, developed, developed for, for it yeah so basically one uh, it's when you have brand new tires, you go for qualifying, you have full of grip, uh, it's uh, shiny, a lot of it on the track, you put one yeah. one. Yeah. Basically you walk parallel like this, two two, uh, when the tire starts to get used. And then three, you never use three when you have drive conditions or really at the beginning when yeah. you are a beginner. So yeah. maybe we start three three to give you confidence. Yeah. But we will clearly uh, switch to two two very quickly and Got then you. four if uh, you want to have a yeah, and zero risk or uh, nothing zero yeah. risk uh, damp conditions wet conditions and got you like that. got you so if we go up a little bit your indicators left, yeah yes. left right yeah left right uh, the wash for the windscreen okay so that'll just give you a quick little exactly. wash the flash uh, button uh, mm. is for your uh, front headlights so we'll kind of do like uh, three little flashes exactly. right I saw it a lot in Le Mans that's yeah, what they do yeah also to put a little bit of pressure to uh, the other driver yeah so. <laughs> if there's someone in front you so flash good. them yeah uh, then the radio the radio button uh, to be able to communicate with the, the pit box. Got you. Okay. okay. We not use it today because we are connected together. Yeah, you, you and I will be chatting in the car. Yeah. Uh, because you uh, cannot do both at the same time, so you have to choose. Or you have a, a driver with you and you uh, chat with him through another device. Yeah. Or you have the radio uh, to uh, communicate with the box. Got you. Okay. Okay. So then you have the function button, basically it's to go through the data, we don't use that when we, when we drive. The pit limiter uh, and the marker, this is when you have a little problem, for example, on the track. Once you press there, your engineer will always have a marker when he oh, plugs the cool. computer on the car and will see directly where did you have a problem. So yeah. it's very useful. And this is for if you've got uh, yeah. if water you or whatever. To a drink system through your helmets, uh, then, this is, then this is a button uh, that gives some pressure in the bottle and uh, bring uh, yeah, yeah, water yeah. straight away to the helmet. Got you, okay. I think it's time to go for a little drive now. Let's do it. So I figured the best way to get you guys to live this experience along with you would maybe be to take you literally on board as you come out of the last corner right here onto the start finish straight. So you're hidden in a little camera called a cam box in my helmet. So here full throttle out of the last corner you're coming across the start finish straight. So you're going some pretty crazy speeds here and you're into one of the first big braking zones. It's hard to translate braking on camera but you're down into third here. 
The good thing about the 488 is with the twin turbocharger, it's got loads of torque, so you can really leave it in high gears and you'll see that throughout the lap. And you're trying to manage that 700 horsepower through the rear wheels. Now you've got the wall going by really fast on the right as you come up to what looks like literally a straight wall in front of you through a Rouge, which is one of the most incredible corners in the world, and out round top, which is basically blind as you come out there. Now you'll hear me talking at some points during the lap. I also wanted to show you a fun little clip which puts into context the power of the braking on these things. So here's Emric, my friend, and this is him experiencing a braking. Oof. You see his head move forward right there? That is when you're not used to it, you're not prepared for it. That's the effect that the braking has. So on camera, it doesn't look like much here. I'm stamping on the brakes, but that is the exact braking zone where Embrick's head went all the way forward. So it always looks slower on camera. I'm already bringing out all the excuses, but little right, left there. And then this is an interesting little corner where you need to hold on the throttle to keep the rear balance. And now you're starting the kind of downhill section. This is what I thought was the hardest corner of the track. You're keeping it on kind of an inside line, but it's pretty downhill, so you're really managing the weight shifting of the car. You're keeping it in fourth, coming out, and then a little dab on the brakes before getting on the throttle properly before one of the fastest corners of the track. You can use the runoff area right there. You're up into sixth, coming down on the straight, dab on the brakes, down into fifth, and then here you're using the area of the car on a long, double left-hander which you basically transform into one single left on this point right here you're back flat out using the runoff as well up into six and this is where it becomes pretty technical so down into fourth on a really late apex right-hander so you can see coming there and then another late apex left-hander I'm just chatting to Gina in the car meanwhile <laughs> where I'm trying to kind of take in all the advice he's giving me as we're going around the track this is one of the corners I struggled with as well because it doesn't look that downhill, but it was in fact, and you're really managing the weight of the car here. You're kind of feathering the throttle again to keep that rear end stable. Fifth, sixth, and this is one of the fastest sections of the track. We we're running over two minutes, of course, but we were achieving speeds of well over 250 kilometers an hour. Here, you're not flat out yet. I mean, I'm sure you could. I wasn't confident enough here. It was also a little break on that left-hander. And then the last kind of final acceleration before you come into the last big braking zone. Yes, seventh down into third for the tight chicane. This was really tricky. Also, don't get on the throttle too soon. You don't want to get wheel spin. 700 brake to the rear wheels. There's quite a lot to handle. So there you go. That is one lap alongside, obviously not very fast, one of my first laps on track, but I was pretty happy with it and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. That is that. A day with D2P here. Woo, look at that sun. Yeah, absolutely unbelievable. I mean, being able to do this, drive a Ferrari race car on Spa, on this track here. Like I said earlier, I mean, I don't want to repeat myself. It's been absolutely unreal. So huge thank you to these guys. Honestly, D2P, the best of the best. There's nothing better in terms of service, everything. We've now got a big dinner for everyone to celebrate the day. You know, all the cars back in one piece, everyone back in one piece, that's always positive. Here's the last one that's just coming back now. Woo! That smells warm. You guys probably can't smell it, but that smells very warm. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. A bit different from my usual, but yeah, it's been a dream. And the next video will be on the Lambo. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.